Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Underrail Expedition. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today uh, as Ray. Uh... Ray moved back here. Last episode of the very last uh, bit, I realized that. Um... Oh, that was that's an interesting thing. Huh. Huh, I realized that he came over here, but what is interesting Hmm He has two di- I didn't- yeah, that's interesting Okay, um, I can do this First off, I can. Oh no, I can't enter. I can't enter. God dang it. Uh, can't enter. <laughs> Freaking hell, this game. Uh, doesn't let me do anything. So I can't interact with that in combat. I believe. Which is what I'm trying to do, by the way. I'm trying to get into the. into the vents. Okay, he's really mad. Uh, which is bad. But. But nothing, it's just bad news, is basically what that is. But if I remember... Yeah, look at that. That's right. Oh. No, I can't... Wait, okay. <laughs> My god, he just moves around. But that is gonna be what I'm gonna do. Uh, I need to figure... There it is, right at the very end. It's easy to spot once you spot it. But the interesting thing here is that what you just witnessed happening, which I believe has to do with the fact that I'm blocking the path. And if I do this, it resets uh, his, his, his movement path. So that's pretty good. Okay. We made it in. Now, I believe we must have been here before. No, we were not here before. I don't know where we are. Um, and I said we, we must have been here before because the ladder showed up immediately. So it is sort of interesting that it did. A crushed man. You approach the motionless body. The awful stench repels you. Curiosity attracts you. You inspect the grim sin scene. This poor soul's legs have been caught between concrete and metal, crushed from knees down. He's skinny to the bone, pale as chalk, or more fittingly, pale as a corpse. But he doesn't appear to be one just yet. His lips, more reminiscent of cracked plaster than flesh, open slowly to release a hollow groan. He attempts to say something, but a hiss is all he's able to produce. He tries again and again until... Help, finally. He smiles wide, tearing his lips further. Thank... He closes his eyes, his smile's still in place, but it soon gets... But it soon gets fades just like his life. His face relaxes and the scene reverts to the way it appeared when you first approached it. Oh, he died. Uh, well, I mean, I'm taking his stuff, right? It's like, duh. <laughs> but I thought I was gonna be able to help him. Mm. Peak letter overcoat, uh, is that good? I don't think that is. I mean, certainly it isn't worth it, but uh, motion tracking goggles, really nice motion tracking goggles. It's a shame that I suck at actually, well, actually those are motion tracking. I'm not sure if they are for shooting or if they're for detecting hidden objects. I don't, didn't read. We got a dead cat over here, my God. Oh, it also made the noise. Yeah, can you, can you hear the noise? Look at this. It's very faint, but um, it's awful. <laughs> It's not the sound you want to hear when you open a dead cat. Or maybe it is, if you are indeed opening a dead cat, because that's what I was doing. Uh, okay, so that one... It's curious that I... It's not... Uh... Hmm. That's not showing these as uh, me trespassing or anything. I could have also stolen from Rob, or whatever his name is. Junk pile... This is indeed trespassing. 
If I remember correctly, you can actually do something here in the core city, because that's where we are. I think you can get a house for yourself, or a place for yourself. I don't remember. Oh, that's that went badly. Uh, can I not have that? That would be fantastic if I could not have that. Hmm. Okay, well, Ray, not Rob. Okay, so you do that. See you around. Let's move you over here. Open that. Do this. So, I think the reason why... Uh, I think the reason why... The, um... That technician aggroed on me is uh, because I was well, I was seen inside the house, and it doesn't really matter. It's not a, really about the opening of the um, of the door itself. It's more about just being trespassed. Though the re uh, yeah, re randomized I think, because that one used to be more expensive, I believe. Anyway, we're good. And yeah, I think I can just leave through Ray's office, and he's not gonna bat an eyelid. Hopefully, he doesn't. Ray, what's up? Uh, so... Is that all you got in your inventory, Ray? I expected a better selection from the only jet ski shop in South Underrail. I can't say whether I have something hardcore lying in the back, but I can say that if I did, it would be for special customers only. Well, if being one of your special customers means having more money than self-control, then I might be just that kind of person. Ah, you don't look the part, Bob. Yeah. I ain't, uh, I mean, I ain't saying that's what makes a special customer in the first place, no. So, what can you tell me about the arena? Arena? Well, it's the pipes and barrels of Core City. Blood, gore, bones, guts, explosions, fire, impalement, decapitation. What ain't it got? Jets, it, it ain't got jet combat. Listen to this idea, a brand new arena filled with water. The gladiators arrive on their jets, say in two teams, and the ghastly marauders versus waves of terror. The crowd cheers. The chomp, uh, chompers are then released into the water. The crowd cheers even harder. Someone throws in a cat and the water starts bubbling and turns red. The match begins at last. Bullets ventilate one of the jets and it blows up. Right, ventilate, as in, that's that's one way of putting it. Kaboom! He makes burning and splashing sounds. Yes. The the, uh, the gladiator jumps off in time, straight into the jaws of chompers. The crowd cheers, and then total mayhem ensues. Minutes later, silence. Everything's calm. Water's red. Bones and debris are floating on the surface. The crowd erupts. Everybody's cheering for the lone victor, wounded but hardcore, who then raises one of his enemies' head before dropping it for the chompers to feast on. Who's gonna say no to that? It dominates. Uh, yeah, especially not you, since you're going to be the one supplying everyone with jet skis, right? It's, you know, you're certainly, especially not gonna say no to that, because, yeah, a sly smile escapes him. Well, you know, that's a positive thing, too. Yes, yes, but it ain't about me, no. It's about the people, entertainment, our culture. Yeah, blood sports. Ain't that lovely? What a time to be alive, Bob. What a time to be alive. It is it, the arena, but basically it's the same thing, by the way. But we're we're gonna do that uh, pretty soon, actually, because we're exploring Core City for the moment. So Core City is pretty big, but, you know, it's only gonna be like t ten episodes to get through the whole thing. Um, that not counting the arena itself, because I think the arena is pretty... I remember it taking a bunch of time, because it is like five different challenges, and it's, it's really tricky. What can you tell me about the drop zone? It sucks. It sucks hardcore. If I, Ray, if I was a zoner, I'd abandon... Th that's the drop zone person. I'd abandon that damn place and go live somewhere else. They'd be better off for sure instead of blaming everything on the oligarchy. Life is tough, but only you can call yourself out of the pipeworks. Got no further comments. I'm sure you you would... I'm sure that's... They, they, they chose to be down there. That's like, absolutely. Uh, what can you tell me about the oligarchy? Core city folks like complaining about the oligarchy. Anything wrong what that happens in this grinding city, it's their fault. Arena tickets too expensive, oligarchy's fault. Zoners robbing my apartment, oligarchy's fault. 
my soup's too cold, oligarchy's fault. Bunch of pipe-working ass juicers. Look, things ain't perfect, can't deny that. I wish taxes were a bit lower, for example. Owning a store like this ain't cheap. But you work hard, and you pay your dues, and you respect the man, and things will work out eventually. Unless you get thrown into the chompers in your arena of death that you proposed, I suppose. Hmm? That's, that's, he's, he's an oligarch. That's, he, he wants to be an oligarch, that's what he wants to be. So what do we have? Nothing. Where does he keep his special, special store? Stash, Gib, can you help me out? Dominating day to buy a jet, what? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm in this mode. Dominating day to buy a jet ski, eh? Yeah, it says dominating because it's good day. It's good day. They just search and replace all the words for, for good. Yeah, I don't know where the good stuff might be. That looks like a door over there. I'm not sure that it is. I think it's just like a, a wall shelf situation. Okay. Well, that's good enough. Thanks for the help. Certainly not there. That's not where you keep your things. Let's, uh, wait. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the good stuff for sure, but... Was I referring to this not being a good selection and then that being the thing that he's telling me he's not going to tell me about? Because that doesn't make sense. Uh, but, I mean, I suppose it could be. Let's see what we have. Let's change this to this mode. And we have workers around here and guards and my cruiser. And a sniper. And I think... Oh, JKK... Oh, yeah, that's the... I'm actually not sure what the JKK is. We we learn about it later, but I don't remember. If Praetorian security can't stop the faceless, JKK wills. <laughs> that's the laughing. Now, we're in Gore City, which means that I am going to need to know what the heck I'm doing in terms of navigating. Because we don't have a map in here. Unless somehow we do have a map. I don't recall there being a map. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to explore the lowest level first. Um, because we're, this is not the drop zone yet, but it's close enough. Because uh, it's also where we have been already, I believe. There's an elevator here. So we can go to the upper metro, uh, upper metro station, which I believe is the second lowest level. I may be wrong. The upper level, which is the residential. The middle level, the merchants. And then the lower level is the common city gate in metro. And this is the lowest level. It's... It, mm, I'm not sure what's going on with that, but, uh, sure. John the Beautiful, I forgot about him! Hey, pal, got a minute? There's, uh, I don't have a good memory of him being a nice person, by the way. Just head, as a heads up. Uh, it's been a long while. It's been five years since I, since I played this game the first time. Uh, well, almost five years. So, uh, hey, pal, got a minute? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna let him continue because that's a you know it's it's as if I don't have a choice and he just talks at me there's a man waiting for you in dominating bar that is yes up in the residential area names Aran dressed in a black and red cloak wears a mask has a sword can't miss him did he say what it's about no he only said that I can tell you which I'm doing right now that it's something important that uh, and that you should see him as soon as possible which means now where is this dominating bar exactly? Take the elevator to the upper floor and then head east, all the way past the Praetorian Security Headquarters. It's a small bar in the southeastern corner. Small, cozy place. A bit empty, though. Which is a good thing, because, you know... Uh, uh, well, unless, unless you just want to meet people. In which case, you're the kind of person who wants to meet the people that are at a bar. I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, where is this... Oh, yeah, right. Uh, what do you know about him? A few things, but it's going to cost you, pal. Uh, okay, what do you need? My inner being's yearning for some bacon and cheese. He pats his belly. Between two slices of root bread. I don't have that at the moment. I'll be back when I do. Me hungry. Uh, right. That's why I don't li I don't remember liking him. You can give him a bunch of food. Uh, let's see. I need specific information. Tell me all you know about the Ages Incorporated. You know what? Hopper steak. Uh, does he... Is he just calling? 
Okay, well, I, I have a notepad in front of me. <laughs> I'm gonna write down all the things that I need. So, hopper, steak. We can buy all this in the restaurant above. Uh, a ram. So, this is the complicated one because it's bacon and cheese. Oh, it's a, it's a burger. It's a cheeseburger. I'm still, still gonna write all the ingredients, though. Because maybe... Yeah. It's root bread as well. I, I don't... I don't... I'm not really sure what that means. People talk about sour bread a lot, though. Um, and I also don't know what that means. Because it's an English word, and I call it broa. Most likely, I do. I, I've seen pictures, and it, just, it might be that. Um, so, changing my mind. I need some general information about Core City. General, you say? Well, you know, I like you. Not too much, pal. Just... Uh, but just enough. These informations will be free unless you want something really valuable. Then you gotta give me food. These informations. Information doesn't have a plural version. That's not, you know, it's not that this doesn't exist as a word. It's just that this doesn't exist as a grammatically correct phrase. Uh, what can you tell me about the drop zone? Look to the east. No, look to the east. That's how you get to the zone. It's full of zoners who can zone you out. So the zone zoners often zone other zoners out because, well, they're zoners. Okay, I'll be serious. I, I didn't get the impression that he wasn't being serious before. Uh, it's the slum of the core city. Poor people, muggers, poor muggers, the sick, all there. It's very dangerous, so take good care if you gotta pay it all, uh, pay it a visit. Now, if you, sm yeah, the sick as well, by the way. They they just need to. Um, uh, what what did the what did Raid say? Uh, work and respect the man. I think that's how it was. Then then you wouldn't be sick in a zoner anymore. Now, if you smell something good, it's probably barrel soup. Some soups are good. Some can kill you, pal. So far, I was lucky. What about the arena? Everyone says it's hardcore entertainment. And I agree. Listen, pal, don't be silly asking me something like that. Don't you see people that come here to witness the bloodbath, the carnage? I think he changes, he's supposed to change tone midway through. And sarcasm never comes across, well, sarcasm, just don't write sarcasm in, in fiction because it's bad, even if it comes across as sarcasm. But then he, it definitely wasn't coming across as sarcasm, so I'm just reading it as not sarcasm. Uh, but I think he was supposed to be sarcastic at the beginning. Do yourself a favor, go there and buy one ticket. One ticket, see one match. I recommend Kancho and Bakuya, twin brothers, they dominate. Sure. Um... Tell me about the gauntlet. I like it. Someone looked at the arena and went, Hey, this dominates, but we need something new. Poof. The gauntlet. Cortec made some complex elevator moment jumbo to move runners, those are the contestants, to random rooms to fight monsters and overcome challenges. That's actually the, the thing that I was thinking of, by the way. Not the arena. The arena might take a while, but I don't remember how long it takes. The... The... Whatever we're asking... The gauntlet. That, that one takes a while. So, uh, what about the oligarchy? Listen, pal, listen, listen. When you ask Korishitians... Korexi... Korsidians, that's the one, my god. <laughs> I know, it's, it's fine, whatever. I know it's not a word. It, it, it's, it... It is a word. You, you, can, you can say, like, for example... Mm, let me say, let me think... Um, Portugalians, let's go with Portugalians. Portugal, you can say Portugalians. That is not the correct word, but it is a word. It's just not the correct word. And Corsidians, apparently, is not the correct word. So the question is, what is the correct word? And I think it is Corsidians. Because otherwise, why would he say it like that? You know what I mean? When he says it like this, he's either... So there's one or two options here. Either there is a word for people who live in in the uh, in the course in Core City, uh, or there isn't a word for people who live in Core City, and the only explanation where this makes sense is that there isn't a word for uh, people who live in Core City. Because if it, if it, if there is, then it's either not this one, and it makes no sense that he wouldn't use it, the one that is the word. Or it's this one, and he's wrong, and and it, it's just sort of, it's it's it, he's wrong because it is a word. It's always wrong. He's definitely wrong. That I mean, that's that's out of the question because he's definitely wrong. It is a word. It's just not the correct word. Um, but anyway, 
Anyway, when you ask Quarcidians about the oligarchs, you hear either praise or hate. I'll tell you something different, pal. All the, uh, sorry, I, I'm interrupting you, John the Beautiful, again. Uh, but it's also funny, in the same dialogue tree, that he said informations, which isn't a word. Um, I, again, it is a word, it's just not a correct word. But anyway, uh, I'll tell you something different, pal. Oligarchs have some serious inner conflicts. It's not public. It's not an all-out war, but it's there. It's not obvious either, but you can spot certain things. Well, not you, pal. I can spot it. I have John Vision. I like that he capitalizes V, which makes it seem like it's just a, a dude named John Vision. That's the best. John Vision is the best nickname. Or not nickname, the best, like, superhero name or something. Anyway, it's like when one oligarch notices that either of the other two... There's three. That's right, I forgot about that. We have learned that in this Let's Play already, I think. But there are three oligarchs, uh, which makes it... It's... It, it, it's a very... It's not really an oligarchy if there's only th <laughs> three people. That's, I mean, technically it is. Because it's... it's, it's it, but it, it sort of isn't I, like oligarchy specifically means a class of people who is above uh, who is uh, um, who is uh, ruling it's basically a society ruled by a class of people and a specifically restricted class of people because otherwise it wouldn't it wouldn't be uh, an oligarchy if the class of people is the majority then it's that's a, it's a democracy uh, at least in traditional definitions um, but, uh, you know, it's sort of weird that it's just three people. I mean, specific, I suppose they can be considered a class of people, even if there's no class mobility in, the, in regards to their particular class, but still, it's sort of weird that it's called oligarch. Um, but still, um, when one notices that either of the other two has an advantage in something, he tries to even the field in some way. Also, it's three men, specifically, because he uses he. Things like that, it's, it's the little things, you know. That, that what you're telling me, John, is so vague and so not little that it isn't the little things. Can you imagine? <laughs> he says the word something, which in this case should probably be anything, uh, or at least stands in for anything. Um, an advantage in anything. He tries to even the field in some way, which means literally, again, any way. That is definitely not the little things. Oh, John. So what about Cortec? Core tech is boring. They make all the high-tech stuff. I mean, pal, pal. They're not making a food materializer. Imagine that. You press the button, food. You eat the food, press the button, food. Again, I, I don't know what his stone is supposed to be there. He's saying specifically not making a, f a food materializer. Which doesn't make sense to the tone that I'm giving him, because I'm gonna not say that word, and look at how his sentence makes a lot more sense. Cortec is boring. They make all that high-tech stuff. I mean, pal, pal, they're making a food materializer. Imagine that. You press the food, the button, food. You eat the food, press the button, food. I think this is a tell, though. Okay, this is like a freaking puzzle of a sentence. Because he, all this stuff... I see. I see what the problem is. This food materializer is not high-tech stuff, is what he means to say. I don't... I, I think... I think it's... it's... Uh, I'm... I'm <laughs> I think it... Uh, I mean, I... I'm, I'm gonna jump uh, I'm to a conclusion here. I think he's not referring to high-tech stuff. I think he's specifically talking to I, about IT stuff. Or rather, information technology. Um, which is what people commonly call technology. Uh, but it isn't. Technology is literally anything. Well, not literally anything, mind you, mind you but still, you know, cement is technology. Um, these walls are technology. That door hinges, you know, the ball, the f melting, melting of metals, all that is technology. Um, so it, it, it's just, you know, it, you need to establish certain, certain uh, context for when you use the word technology. If you're in modern day and you say, ah, look at all your technology in your car, I know what you mean, and sure, I'm not going to be a jerk. No, I am going to be a jerk, and I'm going to correct you. But that's me. Most people are not going to be a jerk and correct you when you say stuff like that. But um, he's specifically calling it high-tech, uh, which is a classification that this food materializer 
in this setting, in this setting, let alone in our actual modern day setting, but in this setting, a food materializer belongs to high tech. I press that button until the machine died, then I buy another one. Okay, short. Sure. Uh, tell me about JKK. I'm conflicted. I love watching Arena now. Oh, that's the, uh, there's, there's a, a, a television station. That's what that is. I love watching Arena now and the gauntlet on those street trims. I bet on my favorite gladiators. I like all that they offer, but damn, their security sometimes gives me a hard time, pal. Look, they can be such hardcore pipe workers when they really aim their sights at it. And I have wake up, so I'm sorry. That's one thing I don't like, but the other is that they do a lot of sneaky undercover operations. Dirty stuff, pal. Things that'll make the hair on your back bristle. John knows everything. Oh, no, no, no. I, I think that's the police. Maybe that's the police. John knows everything, and he's very beautiful. They know that, and that's why they're giving me a hard time. Is it? Well, John, I'm going to need to uh, give you a hard time next episode because we're out of time for the day. There's a lot of things that we can do over here. But for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Under Rail Expedition. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.